All right, you know, it's summertime, and we have a short summer around these here parts, but it does get a little on the warm side. Uh, you know, I mean, most people, you've been having summer for a bit now, and, and you know, the grass stops growing, the weeds stop growing, all that kind of stuff. Well, not around here. Our summer lasts about a month, and so we got to get it all crammed in there. Well, it's hot today, and, you know, I had a smartphone, I'd probably have an app for that and be able to tell you how hot it is. But all I got is a dumb phone here, so let me take a look and see what it says. It says it is 125.7 degrees p.m. Well, that's pretty silly. I really don't think it's quite that hot. You see, that's what it says. Whoop, no, that ain't what it says, right? See, that's what it says right there. Woo, that's hot. Well, only one cure for the hot weather like that. Get old free 99 the canoe out and go down the river. So let's get it loaded on old yeller. First we gotta Kind of dig it out of the weeds you know i mean it's starting to get overgrown a little bit there and we'll strap it on the back of old yeller and then we'll take the caprice here and we'll drive it down to the bottom down river and park that so when we get there with the canoe we can strap the canoe to the roof of all, of, of the caprice and drive back up and get old yellers My now, ain't that peaceful. Another reason to live in the mountains. Our rivers aren't like everybody else's rivers. You know, a lot of rivers you go places and they're calm like this and serene. And you got families on the beach, kids playing, the dad fishing, mom reading the book or something. It's all good. Next thing you know, you hear off in the distance the sound of water going over rocks. You know, no matter where you are around here, the river's pretty much falling off a cliff, so check out this. We got stuff in the water. Moving along. Probably moving seven, eight miles an hour here, not doing a thing. Which don't sound like it's very fast, you know, for you motorheads, but boy, for somebody in a canoe, that's flying. And we're picking up speed because we're coming into the white water. Hope I don't get my camera wet. <laughs> I ain't too worried about it. Do I need to pay more attention? Not necessarily. This we'd call category one. Nothing serious. It's not your lazy river, that's for sure. I didn't know it's gonna do that. You've been down here. <laughs> <laughs> Get your camera out of the water. Oh, it is. Okay. I thought it was still in the thing. Well, so much for our stuff. In your phone. All right. I said so much for our stuff. Oh, my phone's fine. It's waterproof, or so they tell me. <laughs> that was fun. No, it wasn't. <laughs> 
Well, what we just came through is right there. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but as you see, as you can see here, let me pull the camera off the tripod here. We pretty much filled the we pretty much filled the, the boat about half full of water here, so we're gonna empty it out, dump all the water out, and head on downstream. <laughs> 